Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to nest an anchor element within a paragraph. What does that mean? It means that we're going to put a link within a paragraph like, like this area. Um, so you can nest links within other text elements. Uh, it shows some code here. Here's a, and then it's got the anchor uh, HTML, and it says link to freecodecamp.org, and then they close the HTML, and then they finish the paragraph. Um, here they're going to give you another example. Normal text is wrapped in P's. Uh, the next anchor element is the A, which requires a closing tag. The target is the anchor tag attribute that specifies where the open where to open the link. If you put an underscore blank, it specifies that the link opens in a new tab, which means if you click it, you, your browser automatically opens up a new tab. href is an anchor tag attribute that contains the URL address of the link. So that just means that this href tells you where you're going to go if you click the a if you click the link. The text link to freedom or freecodecamp.org within the anchor element called anchor text will display a link to click. The final output of the example should look like this and they've got here's a link to free code camp and they can tell you can tell that it's linked to there. So now what we want to do is nest an anchor element within the paragraph element just after the existing main element. So this is the main element. The new paragraph should have text that says view more cat photos where cat photos is a link and the rest of the text is plain. Okay, so first we need to we need an A element that links to free cat photo app dot com. And we want to your A element should have the anchor text of cat photos. Um, create a new P element around your A element. There should be at least three total P tags in your HTML document. So that just tells me that we should make more of these. So I'm just going to double it up and make four of them. Now we have plenty of P elements, so that will suffice for this. Um, we want to make an A element. It should have the anchor text of cat photos. So we can go Add in the a tag href. Make it equal equal to. We want it to be exactly what it says here. So this says cat photos. Okay, that's not wrong. Right. What we want to do here is put the link in, and then we'll close that a tag, and then we want to put inside of the a tag cat photos. Your p element should have have the text view more with a space after it. So I guess they want us to add a P element that says view view more. Oh, I see what's going on. And then they want us to have cat photos here. So you see here how it says view more cat photos. We want to add a space in here to provide the space between more and cat photos. Your A element should not have the text view more, which means that they don't want that there. Uh, make sure your P element has a closing tag. Okay, we have a closing tag here. And make sure each of your A elements, make sure each of your A elements has a closing tag. Okay, well, it seems that we've done that. We've got view more cat photos at the bottom. And so we can just run our tests now. So I press command enter and we've passed. That's great. We'll be you when with programming you use these A elements everywhere, so it's really important to get this locked down. In fact, I wouldn't be afraid to just go back in here and they're probably not going to make any errors, but we could just make another uh ref here that would go to something like um the New York Times dot com, right? And then we can make it a target is equal to underscore blank. This makes it so that it would open in a separate tab. And we can go um, NYT capital there and then do a closing tag. And so now we have a link here which goes to um, the New York Times. You can see I made an actual mistake here because I made the href not have the HTTP in there, which means that what this link right here in the cat photo app would go. It would go to after free code camp. So it's important that I type in the rest of it. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 
uh, for New York Times. And now if I hover over it, you'll see that down here at the base, it just says New York Times. So maybe we create one more href just to practice because the key here is to get your muscle memory um, to be able to understand and write this kind of code without thinking too much about it. <clears throat> so here I just wrote another A with um, Wall Street Journal. I just make the thing add the URL there and so now I also have the Wall Street Journal linked in here. So New York Times and Wall Street Journal and also this free cat photo app. So I encourage you to be able to do this with your eyes closed. Um, we could actually add a target in here too. And this would make it so all of these links will open in new windows. If I click New York Times, New York Times pops up. If I click Wall Street Journal, the Wall Street Journal pops up. And then this free photo app. I don't even know what this is. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, and so we run the tests. We still pass. That's great. Um, anchor links and HTML links are very important for web development. So it's really good that you figured this one out. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.